Hi everyone, this is Panda Opera from the Sparkle Pandas. We are a group of fun-loving gamer girls. So, Challenge Rift 148 just came out. I'm going to do a quick run on the American server. If you like my video, do subscribe to us. Also remember to participate in our lucky draw. This month, our giveaway is a Rival 650 wireless gaming mouse. And remember to tune in our Twitch or YouTube live. See us drawing the winner. Good luck and good luck to me. Let's see how I do in the challenge drift. All right, so Demon Hunter, my favorite class. Let's see the build. Ooh, Marauder's build. So this build is normally very focused on companion and on sentry. Uh, we can see that on two set bonus, we can call all the companions. And on four sets, we have uh, increased the sentry damage. And on six sets, sentry will further enhance. So in this case, it will be our clustered arrow. So the gameplay, I think, is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, put down three, our sentry, and then cast the four as much as you can. Cast our clustered arrow as much as you can. And let's see, our gloves. Okay, okay, so they're all like, increase our damage, decrease our damage taken a bit. Hunter's Wrath, further increase our damage, decrease our damage taken. Okay, again, uh, reduce our damage taken. Royal Granger Ring. Oh, this is nice. We can now have two more sentries. So now we can have four in total. Squirt's Necklace, eh, it's like good and bad. It can make us deal more damage, but also will make us take more damage. In the cube, we have Manticore. Core. Okay, we're, uh, our grenade nail is more powerful. And Broken Promises is just to make us a little bit tougher. And we have Awareness. It's like cheat death. So... I think this is going to be a powerful build. It's a really strong build. Uh, you might feel it being a bit squishy, so if you feel you're dying, cast the Shadow Power, but normally I don't think I'm, I'm going to be using it. I might use my companion to recharge my resources, but that's about it. Our main damage is going to be put down Sentry and then cast Clustered Arrow as much as you can. Put down the sentry, clustered arrow, and if you feel like you are taking a lot of damage, uh, cast some grenade. Straight forward and use our right click to vault so we can move faster. So put down three, vault, cast the four. Yeah, you can see that actually I'm a bit squishy, but I'm really powerful. So as long as I have my sentry on. My Clustered Arrow kills even elite enemies in one hit. Nice. Now I'm having a little shield. I have Almighty right now. Ah, wrong way. Not enough discipline. Keep going. Bring me another elite pack. So the shield is a really good thing happened to Demon Hunter class because generally speaking, it's a very glass cannon kind of class. Range the damage, as long as you don't get hit, you kill everything within blink. But if you get hit, you see like, actually I drop health really fast. This build is good because it not only just focus on damage dealing, also, um, the builds also work together on uh, damage mitigation as well. Ooh, conduit! Alright, now I'm just going to whooshing through the screen, electrocuting everyone, everything. Ooh. Wrong wait again. I guess we've got to go down. 
pick up those gloves. I'm already ahead of time. Oh my god, I'm like a minute ahead of time. Now I'm super chilled. Put down sentry, cast the four, cluster arrow as much as I can. Just click, click, click. You see, even orange elite just die within blinks. Ooh, a power pillin. That's really good. Actually, so far we had three pillins so far. This is not bad map. Oops. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it triggered my cheat death. Wow, that was close. I'm close to finishing another elite. It should be finishing. Oh! Oh my god! Yeah, the Gorgon explodes! Ah! Oh. Oh, goodness, all right. Gotta rip the Guardian. Put down. Yay! See, the rip the Guardian died within one hit of my Clustered Arrow. Quit for the run. Such a pity that I died towards the end, but you can see that it's easy to operate. Put down your Sentry. Cast the four Clustered Arrow. Use right-click Vault to move to increase your mobility. If you feel squishy, either use Shadow Power, I didn't at all, or cast your grenade. That's it! Hope you liked my video, hope you liked my run, and hope you also enjoyed Diablo as much as I do! If you enjoyed my video, also, please subscribe to us and also check out my other video on Challenge Rift 148 on European server. And see you next week on Challenge Rift 149.